In this video, we're going to take a look at getting our development environment set up to allow us to program uh, Java server pages, uh, use servlets, those kinds of things that we need for Java web development. Um, in this particular video, we're going to look at getting that environment set up on a Mac. Uh, this uh, operating system I'm using uh, here is High Sierra. We've got three things that we'll need to get installed. The first one, we'll need the Java Standard Edition 9 Java Development Kit. Then we'll need the Eclipse IDE for Java EE, or Enterprise Developers. Uh, and the last thing that we'll need to get installed is Tomcat 9. And then after all that's installed, we'll test it and see if it's uh, working correctly for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is just simply Google for Java SE JDK. And I want this one from Oracle. And I want this one, uh, the Java platform JDK9. I need to accept the license agreement. And finally, I want to download the DMG uh, for the Mac. And we've got that downloaded now. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look for is Eclipse. Uh, we specifically want Eclipse Oxygen. And I'm going to get it from Eclipse.org right here. Packages. And this is the one I want, Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. The Java EE is what allows us to do web applications, and that's what we're interested in. So I'll download this one. And now that that's finished loading, we'll go grab the last thing we need, which is Tomcat. Apache. Tomcat, and I want nine. And I'm going to go to tomcat.apache.org, downloads. Which version do you want? I want nine. And I'm going to just grab the zip file of the core. Okay, now that I've got the files, uh, I'm just going to install them in the same order we downloaded them. So let me go to my downloads. And I'll first install the JDK. And this is just a default install. I don't need to make any changes to anything. And I can eject that JDK image. Uh, next thing I'll install is the Eclipse Oxygen.
And now that that's finished, it should be in applications. It's right here. I'm going to drag it down onto my launch bar. And the last thing I'm going to do is get uh, Tomcat uh, 9 set. So when I open uh, Tomcat 9 folder, um, I see these directly inside of it. So I'm not in a subfolder or anything unusual like that. I'm going to just grab this and get it out of this download folder. I'm going to put it in Documents. So Apache Tomcat 9 is sitting in Documents. And inside of this folder are these folders. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, let me clean up this eject to pat, uh, the Eclipse and I'm going to go ahead and get it out of downloads. And now I'm ready to launch Eclipse. Now this wants to know where it's going to put my projects and my temporary files. I don't want it right in my user profile. I want it also in my documents. I'm making a folder called Eclipse Projects and that's where all of those files will go. Do not ask me again and launch. And this is what Eclipse looks like when we have it uh, up and running. The next thing I want to do is add that Tomcat 9 server. So down here across the bottom, I'm going to click on the Servers tab. And I'm going to click this link to create a new server. Remember this was an Apache server. It was Tomcat 9. And I could give it a different name if I want, but that is very descriptive, so I'm going to keep that. It wants to know where it can find that Tomcat directory, so remember that's in Documents. I'm going to choose the Java SE9. And I now have my server configured. Last thing I want to do is test this and see if it works. So, file, a new dynamic web project. And I'm just going to call it test. The target runtime was this Apache Tomcat 9 server. Uh, and notice this default location was in that Eclipse projects. Uh, and then it'll get a new folder of its own with this project name called test. Inside of test, I can go to web content. I'm going to right click, add a new JSP file I'm going to name it index.jsp and right in here I'm just going to add a little content so I know it's mine
going to save it. And finally, I'm going to run. To run it, I'm going to come up and right click the project and choose Run As and Run On Server. This will run it on that Tomcat server. Always use this server when running this project is fine. And I can see down there that it was starting up and it's using the, the local browser uh, here to, uh, to display the, the web page. Uh, so the JSP needs that Tomcat to interpret it uh, and it's, act it's uh, accurately doing that uh, and the page is displaying. Now the last thing that we'll look at here, if you don't want to use this uh, browser that's uh, internal to Eclipse, um, you can set it so that your default browser kicks in. And if you want to do that, you can come to Window, Web Browser, change it from this internal, that's the one inside of Eclipse, change it to the default system browser, or any other browser you may have there. Now when I come over here and I left click to highlight it, I right click to Run As, Run On Server, it opens up my system browser and I can see the changes. So there you have it. Uh, we have everything installed and tested. It looks like it's working correctly and we're ready to start developing inside of our Mac environment.